sound healing for therapists. The type of music and audio is to harmonize and also to heal. It uses the laws and regulations of energy and tranquility. When interacting with audio and music, we have to never forget which it always links us highly to our heart and through this to your deepest needs. To be able to help a person go beyond their psychological boundaries, you need to really know what you are doing. An excellent trained in psychotherapy which include personal experience is completely necessary. This can't be completed through reading or hearing a teacher. Neither is it enough to be a part of emotional group work. It really is above all necessary to know oneself and through this to know one's own limits Restorative work will lead an individual who has asked for help consciously towards a fresh balance on an excellent level to where he was. Therefore that the individual must leave behind thought and belief constructions that until then possessed provided her security, even if that security was an illusory, limited one. Somehow through the remedy you are pulling the old carpet from underneath her feet helping her to move towards new horizons. Tibetan traditions teaches us accurately that ultimate security can only just be within the factor space. All the securities are eventually illusions that limit us and let us down eventually. By using music to handle deep areas of life, what in simple fact are you? Are you operating as pedagogue, musician, therapist or shaman? Who really recognizes for sure? Much is determined by what your client needs and requests explicitly or not and how you define these words. Once I work on someone's pathological obstacle I, E, on something that clearly sticks out from standard, healthy behavior, I quickly consider myself to be doing healing work. As I show a musical technique or provide an exact suggestion in regards to a possible change in behavior, perhaps I am rather on the pedagogical side. A shaman is as I am aware it using mainly his feelings and his intuition, essentially right brain techniques, and can use sometimes specific and well-chosen musical tools, frame drum, rattles and his or her sound to be able to gain usage of and to operate on an even of consciousness where the roots of a sickness can be found. His or her ethnic qualifications has provided a profound understanding of characteristics and recovering energies. I am convinced that you can and must find heading beyond the limits taught by population for several centuries. We are able to also all study from these millenary customs the respect and love for aspect embodied in these traditions and how exactly we too can live in tranquility with the five elements. I understand only hardly any about shamanic practices in Asia, Africa, Northern European countries, Australia and America, Similar practices can be found in all continents among individuals who have placed an in-depth and respectful link to aspect. I am confident that people of the so-called civilized world will never become the same as them because we've not been brought up in a shamanic traditions. To feel that just by copying their actions we can acquire their knowledge can be an illusion and an indicator of disrespect for individuals who maintain these practices. However, I am confident that we in Western Europe, as well as people all over else, once had comparable traditions which embraced the same intelligence, the same profound understanding of characteristics of our very own nature. We are able to still find some traces in the Celtic Druidic custom, 
there certainly is a solid living traditions in Siberia and amidst the Sami people in Finland and North Norway. I know from the encounters you might have through working with the five elements and their associated pets that you do enter into similar degrees of consciousness. I am conversing here of the natural link between dynamics and human beings and of the intuitive dimension and knowledge which a people living in harmony with natural life accumulates from experience. This knowledge is connected to the heart and is expressed as compassion. It is not the consequence of psychological manipulation in the solar plexus and astral levels as sometimes occurs in this framework as in virtually any other one. Fundamentally this wisdom is approximately respecting an individual's liberty of preference. Here too you will need to figure out how to discriminate, as the French say, it is not the dress which makes a monk and I might add nor the feather that makes a shaman. Musical transmission as I described it cannot be limited by learning an imaginative discipline and acquiring some playing techniques. The fundamental elements of musicality are sent orally. Some recent research documenting this asserts that oral transmitting throughout the age ranges has always been more complete and exact than written transmission, no subject how superior. The researchers likened a specific traditions written down at the start of the 20th century with the same tradition orally transmitted. At the end of the century the dental traditions was still effective and may therefore be weighed against the written form. Jean During has written an excellent course on the importance of dental custom in Persian traditional music. He opt for title that includes a double meaning in French, Quelk decide to go with C pass during 1994. This is translated as something has been offered and also as something is going on. Musical instructing in the oral transmission is essentially a means of learning the mysteries of tranquility, in the bigger sense of the word. Again, this is not far taken of shamanism 